Start a new life in the enchanting town of Portia. Restore your pa's neglected workshop to its former glory by fulfilling commissions, growing crops, raising animals, and befriending the quirky inhabitants of this charming post-apocalyptic land. Hello friends, we are going to be playing a fantastic game today. It's a game that I was obsessed with when I first got it, and it was actually released in 2019 January, and as of right now, I have about 90 hours in this game. While it's really great at keeping to its genre of being a great farming simulation game, crafting game, and an RPG, it's also more than that. It's very unique, and the graphics are just absolutely beautiful. They're so adorable and so cute. And one of the things that I love about my time at Portia is that the developers haven't stopped working on it. Even though this game came out in January 2019, as of right now, in November 2020, the most recent update was just a couple of days ago. It's time to start a new game file and check this game out from the very beginning with you guys. Alright, let's start a new game file. I can't remember what to do in the beginning. So this is new for me as well. Ooh. It can be a girl or a boy. Wow, there's a lot of customizations. I love this aspect of it. I think this time around, I want to be a girl or a boy. I think I want to be a boy. Face type. Hmm. Should I pick a face kind of similar to mine? We've got to choose someone with thick lips then. <laughs> his, his, I mean, he has kind of big eyeballs and a kind of bigger lip, but his eyebrows are really thick. Hmm. Oh, I guess we could just change that. Eyebrow thickness. There you go. Okay, then I want to try a different face then. Wow, that's so cool. Or maybe this guy. Okay, let's do this. Let's just stick with this. Eyebrow shape. Brow position lowered. Eye shape big. Let's make it nice and big. Facing. I need to change the hair for sure too. Okay. Good. And okay, that's good enough. Eye color. Ooh. This is cool. Gray. Do that. And nose position. Right over here. Does this look like me? Is it starting to look like me? I feel like it looks a little bit like me. Mouth height. Mouth shape. Smiley! In size. Small chin. Do I have a small chin? <laughs> chin width. That's good. Okay. Now decoration. My face is kind of small though. I kind of want to... Oh, that's where you use the hair. Whoa, he looks kind of feminine. And his lips are really big. Maybe even bigger than mine. See. Ooh, that looks kind of cool, this hair. Oh, the length. That's cool. Alright, this is how I'd look if I were a guy, I guess. Except the eyeball colors are different. I, I feel like I should change the lips a little bit, actually. They're quite big. He can still smile, but maybe not this big. In fact, I want to change the whole face, actually. But it kind of looks like me. Okay, let's just stick with it then. Okay, decoration. But if I were a guy, do I want a beard? He looks cool. Ooh, this looks cool. Beard length. Not too long, I guess. Ooh, okay. And this looks like freckles or something. Uh, and scars, maybe nothing. Okay, beard color. About the same, but maybe a bit darker tint. Alright. My name, let's confirm my name. Okay. Nova is the female name, so is there a male version? He can just be a Nova too. Cool. A 
Okay, and now my birthday. What is this? Fishing day. Oh, I should choose it different than an event day. Okay. I guess it has to be spring. I shall... Oh, no, it doesn't have to be spring. This could be summer. I want a birthday... In the autumn time. Where it's nice and beautiful. Autumn 19th. Let's go with that. All storage boxes in your yard can be managed by the drop storage drop-down interface from each storage. The work table assembly... Blah, 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 blah. The ship looks nice. We're coming up on Porsche. Whoa, that looks beautiful. What are you gonna do there? Ruin diving? Something like that. We get someone like you once in a while. Always seeking that adventure. Good to be young. Well, good luck to you. Thanks. It's so cute! I do really like the intro because I played it when I first purchased it last year. It's like almost two years ago now because almost the end of 2020. I don't remember the storyline and don't remember the beginning. Nova! And I really like how my character looks. Presley, how do you do? Although I don't like the voice so much. I want a manlier, like more rough voice. Ah, good to see you again. Hope you had a pleasant journey from Barnarok, right? That's quite far. Yeah. Anyway, I'm here to show you to your workshop, so if you would please follow me, it's pretty close. I wonder what it's like. I didn't get to know my pa too well. No one's been working there since your pa left Porsche so many years ago. He was a good friend. Yeah. Oh, okay. It teaches me how to walk. A, W, S, D, spaces to jump. Auto run. Oh, whoa, that's punching. Oh, whoa. Auto run is mouse click. So simple. And here we are, your workshop. Oh, I remember this. this. My sure beautiful house. Seen some wear and tear. What do you think? Looks homey. Now then, here's a letter from your father. He asked me to present it to you when you've seen this house. Nova, when you read this letter, I will already be on the other side of the world. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I'm not the father you wanted me to be. This was all so sudden, so I didn't have much time to tell you or figure out how to take care of you. Then I thought about this workshop. It might not look like much now, but it will brace you from the wind and cover you from the rain. I have left my workshop handbook that details how I created things in my workshop. The rest is up to you. Do your best and live a wonderful life. You will always be my pride and joy, Pa. I want a grandpa or a dad who leaves me a workshop or a house. Here's the workshop that would be great. handbook of your Pa's. <laughs> Take your time. Come to the Porsche Commerce Guild tomorrow. It's located around Peach Plaza. Can't miss it. He has like a British accent. You can't miss it. As much as I'd like to give you a builder license right away, you need to prove your worth through a couple of tests. Got it. Tomorrow. Anyway, I'll leave you be. Get some rest. Bye, Presley. Thanks for your help. Oh, easy to wake up. This house is so worn. I need to fix it, or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. Ooh. Oh, I'm still auto-running. Okay, how do I fix it? Oh, E to fix up this gaff. Use 10 wood to fix the gap. Okay. Dash, use ASWD and shift. Oh, there you go. That's simple. Okay, I should probably fix it up soon but for now we will meet presley and we should probably get some wood ah there you go 
there you go, the glowing objects are most likely to be collectible resources. Press to see help with escape. Let's just press it for now. Oop. Okay, it just tells me the controls for the game. The mission target is marked with an M star on the world map. There's some guy running here. I remember him. He runs here like almost every morning. Let's just be in the way. Ah, oh, no, he just ran past me. Okay, there we go. Are you a spy for the Duvos Empire? Huh? You're just the new builder. Hmm, suspicious. Let's chat. When I was little, I always tried to imagine that I was invisible. For a while, I actually believed it myself. Until my teacher told me to turn in my homework. I really like this when game. I was little, I always, always has the same thing. That I okay. I guess we'll leave for now. Wait, there was an option to spar with him. Let's read our mailbox. New mail already. Hello, new subscriber. This is the Porsche Times. We are sponsored by the city government and the local Commerce Guild branch to bring you the latest news in our city for free. We are a monthly publication, so papers will be sent out on the first day of each month. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to visit our office on the main street, Porsche Times. All right, that is all. There's nothing to put into this box. Well, let's just go meet Presley. The glowing objects are most likely to be... Oh, like here. There we go, we picked up some stone. Here. Gathered some wood. Probably need an axe or something. Gathered some more wood. I do remember that we need 10 wood in order to fix that gap. But for now, if I press M, I can see the world map. And here is me, the arrow, and this is where I need to go. This is the map so far. And guys, if you are interested in Portia, this is not all of the map. You can unlock more and more and more as you play. It is much, much bigger than this. And I'm so excited to replay it too, because I know that they came out with so many new updates that I haven't tried yet. There we go. Let's meet the town citizens too. This is Lee. And you are? Oh, you must be the new builder the mayor told me about. I'm Minister Lee of the Church of Light. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ooh. Have you ever heard of the story about the dancing robot? This happened several years ago in Ethia. A robot was found in the ruins and brought into town. The robot had only one leg, so it was balancing with its four arms. That's why it was called the dancing robot. Anyway, it later shot rays out of its eyes and hurt a lot of people. It's a sad story. Oh. And Nora here. She is a bachelorette, hi, I think. Hi there. Are you new here? I'm Nora. I'm a missionary at the Church of the Light. Nice to meet you. Does she say I anything can else? I hear the song of the spring. The color flowers are its notes. Breeze is its rhythm. I really love the voice acting here. I am absolutely smitten with it. Let's Are talk to everyone. Here? I'm Russo. Let's meet everyone. Yeah. Who's Russo? I'm in a hurry to buy some food for Miss Ginger. Good day. Oh, maybe he's like a butler for Miss Ginger. Hello. Hello, Mars. Craftsman Carol's husband. I can't wait for summer. Spring is too rainy. Relationship plus one. Goodbye. Nice. When you so there is relationship points, and I do remember, guys. You can go on dates with people. This is where the star on the little mini map. I think my head is blocking to it, so let me actually duck some way, and then my chair's blocking it. But right where my big head is, there's actually a little mini map that I can see right now, and there's a little star icon, and there's my arrow icon of where my character is. So that's how you can see where you're going, and this is where we need to go to meet Presley. Nice to see you. How are you settling in? Very well. Great! Let me introduce you to the Commerce Guild. We're the organization that orchestrates trade across the entire Free Cities region. This is the Porsche branch. We're pretty busy throughout the year. Now then, let me give you your builder test. This is pretty easy. Make an axe and pickaxe and bring them to me. You need to have wood and stones to make these. 
You can gather them on your own or buy them from the Total Tools in Central Square. After you have the raw materials, you'll need to craft the items on a work table. I saw your paws on one in your yard, so check and see if that still works. Great. Hey! Hi. Don't forget to finish the guild's test and get yourself your builder's license. My talking to each person is relationship plus one. He has faith in me, so we must do this. But let's meet all the characters too. Hi there. Talk to Anton. I know who you are. I'm Antoine. And we'll probably be seeing each other a lot. <laughs> Dr. Shu is the ideal man. Good looking, gentle, and a good doctor. People get better immediately just by looking at him. Ooh, I remember Dr. Shu. There's so many cute characters in this game. So, so many. That's one of the selling points to it. And they also have cute storylines too. Like, it actually draws you in more. Which I feel like is such a great bonus to every game. Ah, there's another character. Let's go meet him. Oh, you're new in town as well? I just moved here a little while ago. Name's Audit. I get up real early each morning to watch the sunrise. It's my favorite routine. Cool. I don't want to spar with him just yet, but maybe I should for the sake of it so that we can. Whoa. So that I can just show you guys. Wait, we win? I didn't do anything. But we got gold out of that. Hey. Should we spar again? Why are you trying to spar with me again? I automatically won. Oh no, relationship minus two though. I really should not do that. You're that new person. You just inherited that workshop outside of town, right? Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? I'm Sonia. <laughs> hey, I was thinking you could join us for our regular trendsetting meeting today. Just don't get Anton started on neckties. That is like, is that, that's some kind of accent, right? What accent would you guys call that? Ooh, there's more people here. Okay, let's Hi, talk to Oak. Oaks. You must be the person the mayor was talking about. I'm kind of simple, but I hope we can be friends. He straight off the bat told us he's simple. I like that though. Have you seen the flowers? I'm simple Take too. Take a moment to stop and look at them. Spring is so beautiful. Oh, he literally told us just to stop, stop and smell the roses. That's so cool. Okay, we can't. Oh, what's RPS? We cannot play rock, paper, scissors. Ah, ooh, Phyllis, I remember you. Hi. Oh, no, not, not you. Sorry, Russell. I was talking to Phyllis, actually. Phyllis Hi. actually always reminds me of The Office. If you guys watch The Office, Phyllis is a character in it. But that name always reminds me of her. spreads fast in this season. You gotta look after your personal hygiene. He's a cool nurse. Okay, and hey, Toadie. I'm Toddy. Toddy. You're the new builder, right? It's always nice to have more builders. That Starlight Island you see out there on the horizon is a great place to fish. Ooh, we need to get a fishing rod. There's so much to do in this game, and the map is so big. I do remember why I was so smitten with this game when I first played it. Let's go gather some twigs and rocks so that we can start building that hammer and axe that we're supposed to make okay i'm just gonna gather a whole bunch tons of stuff to gather herbs caterpillars herbs berries berries let's go into the wild and all of this is pretty much our backyard actually there's stuff to gather and later on there's animals too actually there's animals and there are dungeons as well don't know if you guys can see that thing hopping around but you can fight the ladybug later on and there's more monsters than that oh there's poop and i hear a church bell ringing yay let's go pick up some poop there you go animal feces look at these alpacas you can catch them later on and there's like special llamas. Wait, they're llamas, not alpacas. They look like alpacas to me too. Oh, cool. Okay, let's get the twigs and the rock though. Okay, 
There we go, there we go. Gotta get more! We have 14 twigs. Do you guys think that's enough to make an axe and a pickaxe? Maybe, right? Okay, let's pick up these last rocks and then head home to our workshop table that's supposed to be in our yard and we shall get cut in and we do need the axe anyways to cut down these trees because we can't just bare hand grab it and gather we need to make a axe there we go workshop it is okay tools there's so much you can craft though equipment for later on iron basket wooden baskets soaps food furniture Wow, we can already make a stone stool. Cool, grinding stone. There's so much to do in this game. Now I do remember why I was so obsessed with it. I really played it nonstop when I first played it. Okay, let's craft it. We make one simple axe. And one pickaxe. There we go. Perfect! And you can just scroll through. My backpack doesn't seem quite big though. Oh, okay, you can just put things up here, I guess. That's good. Don't need them right now, so I'm gonna just transfer them all in. Oh, here we go. Except these two, I want to see how much I collect. Okay, let's turn in our quest items. We are passing the first builder's test with flying colors. Let's jump into the fountain! Whee! Oh, there you go. Doesn't look like I get wet or anything. But a shower here, I guess that would be, that would be too much for all the other townsfolk. All right, we shall not do that. Where is he? Presley, I'm back. This aircraft model oh, was made in the walnut groove. Maybe that's a place we can go to later on. I'm just gonna talk with him right here. Ah, excellent quality. Nicely done. You can keep them. I just wanted to see what you can do. Now for the second test, you are to build a stone furnace. This one's a bit tougher. You need to use the assembly station in your yard to complete this task. Assembly station, not the workshop, so different place. Ah, oh, I remember what it looks like. It's kind of like a big wooden block. We, we'll, you will see it together. Hmm. If I remember correctly, your pa kept a very detailed account of the things he made. You might want to flip through his workshop handbook and see if you can find a diagram for the stone furnace. Once you have a diagram, just use it on the assembly station in your yard to start construction. Gotcha. And here are actually quests you can do. In need of six fiber cloth, we can't do that yet because I don't know how to do it. But there's tons of quests that you can do too and improved relationship points, reputation points, experience, and you get gold, which is called goals. Man, my time at Porsche is truly a great game. And I love that the developers haven't given up on it and they keep adding more updates. Ooh, Arlo was one of my favorite characters before. Yo there, you must be the new builder in town. I'm Arlo, the leader of the Civil Corps. I've only got one rule. No funny business. Then everyone can be happy. Easy enough, yeah? We kind of look like brothers. My character and Arlo's. Similar colored hair. If you plan to visit other cities, I'd advise you to have a Civil Corps escort. Some years ago, Adit went to Huteo Town alone to get seeds. He was trapped by monsters for two days on the way back. Fortunately, Dawa found him and told us. We were able to rescue him in time. Cool. Bye, Arlo. Let us go and make a stone furnace for the second builder's test. Are you guys ready to get crafting? Well, we probably most likely have to... Let's see... Can I chop this up? I can! If I equip the pickaxe. We definitely- Ooh, experience gained. Wow, that's a lot. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. I even got marble. And leveled up. Hey, But I probably need a lot of stone and wood. Let me just head to here. Ah, May, I liked her character too. Wait, wait, hold Hello, on, May. New builder. That is who you are, right? I'm May. I work at the newspaper. <laughs> See you around. 
Ooh. I just got a news tip. I can't tell you what it is yet, so you'll just have to read about it later. Actually seeing May made me realize that I liked pretty much all the characters back then. Most of them. There's a lot of bachelors and bachelorettes to choose from if you are ready and excited for the relationship part of this game. There's a lot of bachelors and bachelorettes. And so many characters just besides bachelors and bachelorettes. Just characters to befriend. Oh, you get a lot of wood for chopping down these trees. And it's quite easy. And you get experience for... It looks like pretty much everything you do. Whether it be talking to people or like... Experience with gathering, mining. Let's see. We can even take down this big rock, it looks like. But it might take forever. Oh, you need a better pickaxe. But we did get a copper ore out of that. That's great. Oh, not enough stamina. Uh -huh. Where is my stamina bar? Oh, on the bottom. It says SP 0 out of 205 and HP 131. Okay. I see. I guess we should go home and take a break then. Since we don't have food, I'm assuming that food will restore stamina. But let's go check out this diagram so far. This is the assembly station that we're supposed to make the stone furnace at. It does look like just a wooden plank here, but you build on top of it. And here is the diagrams that we need to figure out what we need to do. Welcome to my workshop handbook's first page. I'm going to write down all the knowledge that I gain as I tackle this workshop business. Since I'm probably the only one who's going to read this. Hello to me, handsome guy. <laughs> Lesson 1 is most important. I just had the president help me construct my assembly station. Now I'm going to try to write down the steps to using it properly. 1. Go up to the assembly station podium. 2. Open this handbook and select a diagram. 3. Once the framework of the item appears, I can start placing down different parts. Or to install a part, I need to have the part in my hands. I'll walk up to the framework and the highlighted location and press the left mouse button to place it. Even though it might sound difficult, once we get the hang of it, it's super super easy and super fun to start crafting and gathering all the materials. I can cancel the assembly process anytime at the podium. All the used items will go directly into my inventory or sit on the ground nearby if my inventory is full. When I have finished the assembly, I can put the item in my inventory. And to make a stone furnace. This thing gets really hot, so handle it with caution. Stones can be found anywhere to make one stone stool. Any tree will give you wood, so we need stone times 10 to make one stone stool. And wood times 10, grinding stone. And you can craft it with the work table. We need two grinding stones and old parts with copper bars. We have to smelt that with the furnace. Okay. So we need a furnace too, huh? See, there's a lot of stuff that we need. Ooh, look at all the stuff we can make. For now, though, what we need to make first is the furnace. Oh, we don't need this page, actually. We just need to make a stone furnace, so just stone and wood. That should be easy. So you press the build button. With relevant part equipped, aim at the silhouette of the con construct and then press the left mouse button or A or S X to place it. The assembly station console can be used to view material requirements or cancel the construction. Parts can be installed or recovered when standing near the construct silhouette, then pressing the right mouse button or L2 or R2. With all parts in place, press the E or the A slash X to pick up the item. We got it. And even if we don't... So there, because I press build, build, I can see the silhouette of it. And then I do have the wood already. I have 28 and I have 24 stone, so we can start building it. I just left mouse button it. Oh, I need to... Oh, I need to hold on to the button. Okay. So I need to select the button by pressing the number 2, because my wood is on number 2 and then place it down like that super simple and then make the stone stool first this isn't actually just stone you need to make the stone stool first which i saw before over here the stone stool was right over here in the furniture section let's craft that this one is good experience plus 10 probably for crafting and then the stone stool is at number eight of my inventory there we go we're holding it now we can set it down. Ta da! We have a furnace. 
that we can now go and give to... Actually, let's open the... Yeah, I think the guild is closed right now, so I can't give it in because I don't see it anymore. We can double check if it's open at night. I doubt it though. 1905. Might be closed. This is the city at night. Django, we haven't met yet. Restaurant owner. If you find any good recipes out there, be sure to bring them by. I'm always trying to improve the menu. <laughs> gotcha. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's turn in our quest first. If Presley's here. No, Presley's gone home. Alright, let's leave then. I've already talked to Antoine, so I can go meet the other people instead. Oh, I haven't met him yet. Holly! Hi. A manly furniture maker. Man should be as strong as me. Mars? Oh, come on, he's not even close. Who's Mars? I remember meeting Man him. Man should be as strong as me. Ma okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. He's about to do some push ups here. I was going to see if there is any way that I can do push-ups with him, but I don't think so. I do see a little question mark on my map. I know my head is blocking it, but there's a question mark at this location, which looks like a restaurant. The Bistro. Town Bistro. So let's hop right in and see at the round table. Ooh. Ooh. People we haven't met hey there. before. I'm Chiwa. The smallest of the Hulu brothers. There are seven of us, so uh, it'll probably take you a while to get used to it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Do you guys remember him? He looks similar to the guy we met before. Hulu brothers. Oh, there chat. are plenty of rules for fishing. Each type of fish will swim in its own preferred area, and you'll need different bait to attract them. Things like that. Oh, and of course, the fishing rod is also very important. Any rod can hook a fish, but only a good rod can bring it in. Alright. Maybe he'll give us a fishing rod later. Did you guys notice his fisherman's cap says boy? He doesn't look like a boy though. Is he a boy? Talk to Martha. Hi, you're probably the new builder everyone's talking about. I'm Martha. Nice to meet you. I run a bakery here in town. Oh, I love her little arm cuff thingies. So cute. And <laughs> her apron's adorable. No fruit would make the bread soggy. Hmm? Oh, oh, sorry. Just thinking aloud. It looks like he's sniffing her. <laughs> oh, Presley, there you go. Great job. You pass. This is your builder license. Congratulations. Yay. We now got you just it. need to take this license over to the mayor's office and get your workshop registered. After which, you can start taking regular commissions. He is the mayor, Come so... Come back and talk with me after you register. I see, but we just have to meet there so that he can do that. Unless he's not the mayor. Okay, who else have we not met? The brothers we have met before. I think we've met pretty much everyone. Okay, one of the brothers maybe we haven't met before. I'm getting confused too. Let's just hop right out. I remember Sonia earlier. Ooh. Wait. Register with the mayor says Gale. So actually Presley is not the mayor. Because Gale, 0 out of 1. E. That's someone else. Antoine is here walking at night. And I love how the characters actually move around in this game at different times of the night. Let's check out and explore this town. Whoa. There's a spot that's highlighted on my map up that direction. But the star symbol is over here. Let's just check out the town first. Presley's home. Okay. Ooh, I think it's here. Gail's home. Okay. He's closed his doors right now. Gail lives here. Pretty big house. For the second floor. Oh, the gate just opened for me. Guess I can't sneak in, huh? No, I can't. <laughs> wow, but the town is nice and big, and there's back roads too. Hey, we haven't met before, Albert. 
labor contractor. Contractor. Spring is a wonderful season. Girls all dressed up nice and pretty. Time for romance. Albert might be the romantis in the town. Spring is romantis? a wonderful season. Romantis? Is that a word? Girls all dressed up nice and pretty. All right, Albert. Bye bye. Bye bye. Let's see. Look at the back streets in the town. Oh, looks cool. This store kind of reminds me of Japan. Ah, oh, we can't enter anyone's homes yet. But we can definitely go to sleep and then come back. But for now, let's check out the town at night. Wow, that's the plaza. Look at that. That looks like the barber shop in the distance. And a news board, Porsche Times. This is where the newspaper comes in. You can actually go in there too. There's a bakery. And this is still part of the town. Look how big it is. There's a furniture shop there that's open. There's a tool shop. Oh, we haven't met yet. That's Sam. I remember her. Hey there. Haven't seen you around. Where are you from? I used to call him Captain Arlo because it sounds nicer. But he didn't quite like the formality. Can we give her a gift? I don't really have anything. I don't really want to give her berries just in case she doesn't like it. Certainly not feces. Can't give her a marble or that. Unless it's like a diamond. Don't know what that is. That looks like nuts. Like tree and nuts. That's just grass. Can't give her a worm. Okay. Okay, let's say bye for now. There's a seesaw. Can I use it though? And that, my dears, that I remember is the science center where you will actually have a lot of nifty items later on. Can I go on it? Oh, it doesn't work. The seesaw doesn't work. Ah. Mm. Ah. I would love to get a haircut later on. Furniture. And let's go on to the side of the road. Let's check out here. Here's the bread. The bakery. Look at that! Fresh baked. Wow, they really trust in people, huh? They're just leaving it here. Ooh, can I buy? No, it's not open yet. Sodas. This would not work in real life. If you just left bread, like fresh, delicious looking bread that says fresh, and you left sandwiches out here, it would go bad. But more than that, people would be stealing it. Oh, wow. Look at that though. That looks good. Dinner rolls. They have a good cup of coffee here, I bet. Cafe too. Another side street. Doors you can enter. It's a nice town. Ooh, it's Martha. Oh, don't push. I did I wonder, did I push her? I wonder if it matters. Maybe it doesn't. Can I hop in here? No. Ooh. There we are. Back here. There's another cafe up there, a different cafe. Okay, we should go home and sleep first then, so we can regain our stamina. And tomorrow, we can meet with everyone. Oh, it's getting late, we should be getting some sleep. I wonder what happens if we don't sleep at all. Fix this gap, but maybe we should sleep first. Go to sleep. Rise and shine. Oh, my head hurts. I didn't sleep well at all from the breeze coming through the cracks last night. Oh. Use 20 wood to fix the gap. I think that I would love to play around with the customer customize uh, character customizations later on too. Like I want to make tons of character and then play with my final favorite version. But this is the male version of me, I guess. Pretty cool. Hey, from Town Hall. Hello, new builder. We'd like to remind you that Porsche currently has two authorized ruins for you to dive into. An abandoned ruin number one below the Church of the Light and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland east of the town. For your own safety, all other ruins are currently off limits. Thank you. Okay. All right. Register with the town mayor is the first things first. Here he is again. Hi. Friends. 
Why didn't you find me? They always try to stay inconspicuous, you know. What do you mean? See you. Yeah. Things have respawned. Very nice. Easy to just grab them. <gasps> A treasure chest. Ooh, worn gloves. That reminds me, sparring. I don't think I'd always win. I don't think that's how it works. But I should probably try it again. But I don't want to try it right now just because it um, decreases my relationship points. But perhaps I should for the sake of this video to show you guys. Here we go. Got some more ores. Collect some berries. Over here and over here. And let's head right into town. My head is blocking it. Oh, but you guys can kind of see it right over here, right? There's a star. And I'm going to try to reach over there so that I can finish the quest. Let's see. It's supposed to be right here. Oh, it says Porsche government. Are you guys ready to meet the mayor? Gail, hello. Is that his daughter? That looks like Kim in the photo. I think it is him. Hi, Gail. Welcome, welcome! You must be the new builder. I'm Gail, the mayor of this town. It is truly wonderful to see young people getting involved in the telesis of our society. Telesis, what's that word I'm mean? here to register my workshop. Very well. What is the name of your workshop? Ooh, let's not name it something corny. Let's name it something like... Hmm, what's something cool? Some food name, like our workshop. That was my first thought, because I love food. Food always pops into my mind first things first. Let's see. Hmm. Brilliant. Brill, brill, brilliant. Brilliance. Brilliance workshop, shall we? Nah, I don't want to do that. Brilliant workshop. Famous workshop. Here. Cool. Nice name. There, your registration is complete. Thank you. Also, we're going to have a fireside town meeting once in a while. Uh, they'll be announced through the mail. Try to make them if you can. You don't want me being the only one there. <laughs> uh, I will cover town and world events at large, uh, the usual, you know. I do remember there are events and there's I love that there's um if you guys like games like Stardew Valley and you love that there's events in town there's events in my time at Porsche too and it's really fun too oh oh these are all of the What's army up? corps you must be the new builder I heard about I'm Remington a member of the civil corps if you got any troubles let me know and I'll try to make it go away. While I was talking to him, I noticed that his allies all ran off and had to do their stuff. The safety of Porsche is my number one priority. If you see anything suspicious, just tell me. I should probably let him go. <sighs> so he can catch up with his allies. Okay. Show Presley registration. Oh, okay, yeah. And this is the Commerce Guild, a different building. To the left of the government. Ooh. You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board over there. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. There are other workshops in Porsche? Oh yes, adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. 
But don't worry. If you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Ooh. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins! You already took one today! There are never too many commissions! Good day! That's Runt! He's the owner of the current number one workshop! Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well, I'm sorry. That was our last one today. Hey, Press! I've got a job for you. Or not. What is it, Arlo? We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. So the mayor finally put up the money? Well, young builder here is up for the challenge. Yeah, he figured that place could be a real tourist attraction. What with the haunted cave and all. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Also, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you'll probably need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple tower. Cool. Oh, thanks, Hi. Arlo. Wanna Ta do? I'll go easy on you. I mean, I don't think that means sparring. I don't really want to. But for the sake of the video, let's see how sparring works. Did I mine his relationship, though? Oh, wow, we can actually fight. <gasps> oh, wow, he's strong. Look at that, my health. I barely did any damage. Arlo's good. Relationship, was it plus one or minus one? That is cool. Okay, let's see. Five copper bars. I can't do that just yet. Two stone tables, that I could do. I think. Three shell necklaces. Let's pick this one up and do it. Okay. Stone tables times two. And the quicker we do it, the better the commission. So let's work on that. And we do need to build the bridge head and bridge body, so let's check that out as well. We haven't met everyone in town yet either. That's exciting. We do probably have some stone and wood for some other things though. Stone tables we can make here. The stone table, there you go. We can make it, we can make two. Right off the bat, max is one. Oh, I see. We need more stones. Okay, that's all right. Go pick some more. Let's go. There's some stone right there. Running through the wheat fields. I see Remington that we met this morning. Ooh, nice. Oh, need a better pickaxe. But I still did- wow, we're level 3 now. More attack, defense, okay, this one's too big too. Do the little guys. There we go. Collect some more stuff. And then the bridge head and stuff, we'll probably need to check out the blueprint soon. I was testing it, but it seems you don't have to stand in the same place. Like, you will automatically have your resources jump right to your location. Very good. Very good. Okay, there we go. And this is part of the town, actually. I can just hop right in and go- Ooh, treasure chest. Open it. <gasps> Dried apple slices! There are treasure chests everywhere. It can either be in town. <gasps> Arlo's on a horse like a Prince Charming. Hmm. That's Lee, I remember him. But right now we're busy. We gotta get the stone tables going on. Oh, 
Oh, there's a new character there running off in the distance. Let's go catch up. Hi, Emily. Oh, whoa, she's too busy. I can't even. Okay. Hey there, I'm Emily, your next door neighbor. It's so nice to have new people move into our town. You should drop by my ranch sometime. I'm smitten. Her character design looks cute. Greetings. Here comes the springtime. Can you smell it? The smell of recovery, rebirth, and rejuvenation. Oh, okay. I might like Emily. We might have found our favorite bachelorette right now. But we haven't met everyone yet. We shall see, we shall see. Okay. Let's make that stone table. Craft one. There we go. We can finish that up. But let's check out the bridge head. It's gotta be here. There we go. Bridge head. And... Bridge body. So we need hardwood to make hardwood plank. And copper pikes. By smelting with the furnace. Okay. No, copper pike we need to gather. Copper bars we smelt with the furnace. This we have to pick up somewhere else. Okay, and... Stones can be made into stone bricks with a furnace. Tin ore and copper ore makes one bronze bar. Okay. That turns into... Oh wait, or maybe we can just... This. Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, let's put it down. We need copper pikes and stuff, but we don't have that. But let's set down our furnace that we built before. Where shall we set it? That won't get in the way. Here, it looks like a good place. There we go. Let's craft some stuff then. Okay. Stone bricks. Refuel it. By adding in 20 wood. Let's craft... I can only make three at the moment. Okay, whoa, that takes a long time. So this- these projects will actually take some time. It's not like immediate projects. But the prizes for them are pretty good. Let's open up that map and see where I can turn in... This is the bridge one. And this is the Commerce Commission. That's where it's supposed to go. Russo. Okay. Let's hand it in to Russo. I think it's for the bakery or for the cafe. Thank you. I like that he's pink. He's literally pink. A pink cat. Okay. Let's go find our commissioner. Seems like we have to go into the backside here a little bit. And... Oh, we haven't met yet. Gust. You're the new builder. I'm Gust. I'd love to stop and chat. Tea, cake and all. But I'm busy. So, good day. I remember I used to like his character Spend too. Spend your time on tasks that you actually need to do. Yes, sir. Wait, that's Russell here. Hey. There we go. Yay, relationship plus 19. And he gave me a waste pack for that. Wow, I didn't expect this. That is cool. Can we put it on right now? Ooh, max stamina plus three. Wow, from work table level one. There we go. I don't see it yet, but some of the stuff will probably... Oh... I don't know how to equip this if I need to. Okay. Well, let's actually put the stuff here. Put this stuff here. Actually, maybe I need to see how much copper I have. Marble is okay. Ah! Skill tree tutorial. Click to add points. Each skill has a different upper limit. Add five skill points to each level to unlock the next one. The final skills have stronger effects. Right. Missions. Handbook. Oh, very easy to see then. In case we forget how to do it, you can just check it right here. Like so. Oh, very nice. And it tells you where you can make each thing. Very cool. Look at that. Rainbow lemonade. Oh. There's so many items. That is great. You can add it into. Ooh. Stamina cost decrease when using pickaxe. Definitely need that for the long run. Apply. Oh, that's all of our skill points. Okay, we only had two. There's a calendar here. The next one is fishing day coming up. 
two fishing days in a row and then day of the bright sun and as the game goes on i think you unlock even more events too that's where you can find your social oh people don't seem to be able to go into the negative hearts but we still have a lot of characters to meet wow all right cool let's check out the photos too actually what is the photo Cutscenes, I see. Ah. Cool. And I think you can press play to see it again. That's really cool. Okay. Let us... Let's go meet some more people. <gasps> School is here. Clothing store. We haven't met Carol yet. Hi. I'd love to visit the beach, but I'm too busy with the shop. I'd love to visit the beach, but I'm too busy with the shop. Okay. Goodbye. Let's see what clothing we can buy. Ooh. And there's a market price. I remember this is how you can sell them items. In this game, you can sell items on the market too to make money instead of picking up commissions, whichever way you like to do it. That's a really great way to make money. And the marketplace prices matter too. I don't know how to explain it well, but if you're interested in the game, you'll realize that later on too. Ooh. Did you just move the kids? Here? Never seen you before. We've haven't met the kids yet. Did you hear? Arlo just discovered some new ruins. He's so amazing. And I'm gonna be just like him when I grow up. Cool. Yay! Let's meet the other characters. Polly, hello. Are you the new builder? I'm Polly. It's nice to see other people try to bring about the telesis of this world. Or at least, that's what the mayor likes to say. <laughs> nice to meet you. Right. Warp kids. Let's meet everyone. Dolly. Hello. I just want to say, now that you're here, we can't play hide and seek in that haunted house anymore. All your fault. All the flowers are blooming. They smell wonderful. Tolly sounds Hi. more spoiled. Where are you from? She said I used to play with dolls, but I'm all grown up now. That reminds me, I still played with Barbies until high school, guys. That's, a uh, Not even afraid to admit that. Alright, I do see someone with blue hair that I don't think I've met before. Lucy, Hi. that's right. We don't get new people moving all the way out here too often, so nice to meet you. I'm Lucy. I'm a teacher at the Porsche School. We probably should have talked to her facing her now. It's like pretty weird angles. Polly really is a bright kid. She just soaks up everything I teach. Cool. I realize that we can spar with the opposite gender too. Well, Jack? We didn't meet before, right? Right? I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. I hope you have a good time in town. Oh, so polite. Toby talks about Emily sometimes. And the girls make fun of him for it. Oh. You guys remember Emily? I said Emily was my favorite character. I guess Toby likes her too. You better watch out. I see the mayor. Hi, Gail. Hi! My sweet ginger is waiting for me to have dinner. I need to head home right after I finish the work. Not a minute's delay. Ginger's his daughter. Just a small Goodbye. spoiler. We haven't met her yet. Goodbye. Alright, now let's head back and start chopping up some trees, actually. We definitely need some more wood to start building that bridge. We can chop these bushes now. Do it! Oh, nice. Oh, we got plant fibers too. Probably important for making some ropes. And later on when we can start cooking, we'll probably be able to recover our stamina more. We do need to fix the breeze in our house too, guys, actually. Let me go and try to do that. Before we don't have any stamina left. Do this. Fix the gap in the... 
Yes. Yay! Okay, we don't have enough wood. But we're almost out of stamina too, so we should probably sleep it off. We can pick up the bed and put it somewhere else too. Here we go. Pick up and rotate with T. Okay. Looks about the same, but you can rotate it. Let's go to sleep. Now it's day two. And there is so much more to the game, but I think that is about it for my run. Let's see. We played almost an hour here, or about an hour. I really hope you guys enjoyed this first impression gameplay of my time at Porsche. I really, really enjoyed it when I first played, and I couldn't stop playing too. It's a game that I feel like I have really high hopes for even in the future, just because a year later, almost two years now, I still see the developers adding on more new content, and I do also look at how the developer interacts with their community, and I gotta say, I do like how these developers of My Time in Porsche are interacting with their own community. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, and if you have played My Time at Porsche before too, or if you haven't and you saw this gameplay and you really enjoyed it, leave me a little comment below, I'd love to hear your story. If you did enjoy this video, please let me know by giving it a huge thumbs up. Smack 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 that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and if you haven't subscribed yet, if you subscribe, you'll be able to get notified of when I post next. I do post at least 4-5 to five times a week, and I try to post every 2 days. So, with that said, I will leave you guys here until we have another gameplay of a new game or more of my time at Porsche. If you guys want to see more of this game, definitely feel free to let me know. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!